on Let The Show Debut. Hey y'all, good morning. Um, hey, hey, America. Um, and all, all around the world. Um, I'm back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's been a long time coming, y'all. It's been a long time coming. I haven't, um, I, I, I was on a hiatus. Um, call it a season finale. What have I been up to? Um, getting into this pink shirt. Y'all like this pink shirt? Look, I got on, I got on a pink shirt and I got on, um, Oh, look at my butt. <laughs> look at my butt. Look at my butt. <laughs> nah, um, I have one of these um brown um joggers, brown um sweats, and um uh, have on a pink shirt, brown sweats, uh with a little white tie dye on the pink. I look like Neapolitan ice cream, don't it? <laughs> yeah, it's been a while. Um, uh, there's a lot of reasons why I haven't been on here in a while. Um, one is I'm busy. If you, if stay, you busy, stay busy, <laughs> you ain't got you to ain't get, got get super busy. busy. <laughs> nah, I work. I work. I got a job. Nah, um, but yeah, since um the la our last uh podcast slash video vixening, I um I had a birthday. It was it was uh back in October, but um yeah um I hit that big that big four zero. That big foe, oh, mm -mm -mm. While I'm recording, really? My neighbors in these motorcycles. You take that motorcycle wheel and you just roll it right up your... They don't have no respect for their neighbors. There's old people on this street. They have no respect for, 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 for their elders or their youngers or their... For the same ageers, um, yeah, it was, I had a birthday, the big four O. I ain't really do shit, you know. It's still COVID. It's still COVID. Well, is it still COVID? That's a good question. Because um, starting today, uh, New York City, they lifted the um, the ban. Um, uh, they lifted the masks. You ain't gotta wear masks no more. Um, but it's voluntary if you want to. If you want to, ain't nothing wrong with it. Uh, keep that mask on. But um, I'm going to keep my mask off because um, this beauty, <laughs> it needs to be seen. Cheers to my beauty. <laughs> nah, um, yeah, uh, this beauty has to be seen. Um, and so I will be maskless because I've been vaxxed. I've been vaxxed and relaxed for a long time. Trip three times. I'd have been tri to trip one to the vaccine, trip two to the vaccine, and trip three to the vaccine. I guess if you had Johnson and Johnson vaccine, you only went once. I guess I don't know, but um, good luck with that. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm be maskless. I'm not on no train though. <laughs> I ain't going maskless on no train because uh, y'all still nasty. I've been uh, was singing at Teddy Bear and Estrella. Um, that's the uh, Estrella. It means star in Spanish. Um, yeah, I sang at their wedding. Um, do I have a clip of that? Do I have a clip? being me <laughs> yeah um sang them on down the aisle um just doing what i do just you know just making the people uh feel joy in their hearts in their minds and their souls that's that's what i'm here for that that's my calling that is my gift i was told that i did great i know i did great but sometimes you just have to hear the uh the confirmation from your peers and your um, your loved ones and your constituents. Um, I got a PS5 too. I got a PS5. It makes me feel alive. Yep. 
And I'll be playing it too. I'll be playing it too. Look, you don't believe I'll be playing my PlayStation? Check it out. <laughs> Okay, you get it. You get the gist. So I'm gonna start. Um, uh, I'm gonna like start implementing um, uh, video gameplay into my repertoire. Into my repertoire. I could play now, but I don't feel like it. Um, let's see what's going on in the world. Thank you, Beast God, for giving me something that that interests me. The Real Housewives of Atlanta, um, they, <laughs> they're gearing up, um, uh, uh, there, there, there are, um, there's a little scuttlebutt around uh, the inner blogs about um, what's going on in the new season of the show. Um, uh, Candy Burris and Marlo Hampton, who has her peach, finally. Yeah. <laughs> It's, it was so funny. There's this, <laughs> there's this video of Miss Lawrence. See, I remember Miss Lawrence. Miss Lawrence was um, <laughs> he, he was on Watch What Happens Live. I'm gonna let y'all see it. I'm gonna let y'all see it. Look, 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 look. Friends, Paula, you wants to know what your thoughts about your friend Marlo are this season. Do you think she should get a peach? I mean, I can't. I mean, yeah. she she been trying for a long time. So just give it to her. Like, give it a peach, Jesus like, Christ. Uh, <laughs> um, so just give it a peach, Jesus. <laughs> anyway, she finally got her peach. Yay! Congrats, uh, Marlo. I hope they get that peach came in a raise. You ought to be getting a million like Nene did because all them damn um. You've been on that since the damn near, see, you've been on that since the damn near the, the, the beginning of the shit. It says that um, Candy Burris and Marlo Hampton hit below the belt in explosive fight. Ooh. And the story goes as so. Mm. Ooh, gummy worms. Sorry, Marlo and Candy. I'll get to y'all's story in a minute, but I see gummy worms. Mm. Mm. Pretty good too. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That is so uncouth. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Let me hit one more. Wait, hold on. <laughs> I gotta hit one more. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. Mm -hmm. Dwayne Reed, Brian. Mm -hmm. Professional, professional. Okay. So, this um, story originally, it's how Love Beast got, but it came from page six. Okay. <clears throat> Things weren't all peachy keen between Candy Burris and Marlo Hampton while filming The Real Housewives of Atlanta season 14. In fact, they were explosive, in quotes. They got a quote from Candy. Marlo, first of all, me and her bump heads. Burris, 45, exclusively tells Page Six while promoting her latest Bravo spinoff, Candy and the Gang, which is pretty good. Um, Child, she was throwing pictures at people. <laughs> Hampton, 46, why y'all be giving these people ages like that? Do, do they want you to do that? Um, um, Hampton, 46, joined the latest installment of Real Housewives of Atlanta as a full-time housewife following the departures of veteran cast members Cynthia Bailey and Portia Williams. After 10 seasons of putting in the work as a friend of uh, bringing major drama and high-end fashion to the reality franchise, Hampton's promotion came following years of pleas from fans and even Burris herself. I was like, of all people, why is she coming for me? Burr said with a laugh, acknowledging her advocacy for Hampton to finally receive a peach. Like we're supposed to be on the same page. I don't even know what happened. 
the Don't Think I'm Not Singer, which I don't think that's our only song, but whatever. Um, the Don't Think I'm Not Singer, who has appeared on Real Housewives of Atlanta since 2009's season two, says that her on-screen battle with Hampton seemingly came out of nowhere. It wasn't like it was intentional, it wasn't planned. One thing led to another and it was just explosive. It went out of control, Burris recounts of the scuffle, adding that she and Hampton repeatedly threw jabs, verbal jabs, that is, that hit below the belt. We were saying some really mean things to each other. Let's just say that, she elaborates. I don't even know how they're going to edit to be clean because it was terrible. I can only imagine. I can only imagine. But um, I'm looking forward to seeing what that was about. Um, throwing peaches, she said. Interesting. Very interesting. Season 14. Damn, y'all still on? Jesus. Damn. And, and, and I heard Sheree coming back too. <laughs> Sheree, who gonna check me boo with, Phil? Yes. <laughs> who gonna check her boo? <laughs> Good times. Uh, let's see what else is going on. Pamela Anderson to make Broadway debut as Roxy Hart in Chicago, A Dream Fulfilled. Chicago, A Dream Fulfilled. Is that like a sequel or something? Like, I am. And Pamela Anderson. Doesn't Roxy Hart sing? Because Brandy did Roxy Hart. She played Roxy Hart on Broadway too. Hey, Brandy. I you know I met her. I met. Y'all wanna see the video? No, I ain't doing that. I maybe mean, just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> hey, Brandy. Um. But yeah, um, I thought that Roxy Hart sang. I don't. I have never heard of. Homegirl, uh, Pamela Anderson, um, being a single. Look at that nose. Why she look like that? Did, has she always looked like that? Y'all, stop, stop messing with y'all faces. Don't mess with y'all face because. Yeah. You spent all them years in the public eye with the with your original. Well, I don't even know if that was original. With the last nose that I knew of you, and y'all need to leave y'all faces alone, man. Seen that on Broadway. Anyway, I heard about this. Um, Kanye West defends controversial Pete Davidson video saying art is not a proxy for any ill or harm. Um, I, haven't ever, I haven't even seen the video. It's gonna be, this is gonna be a live reaction too because I've never seen this video, literally. Uh, hopefully it's on YouTube. I know he, I know they were saying something about he releasing new music on some kind of new app or some new software or some shit. I don't know, baby, baby, the way I don't care. Wow, okay, well the, um, uh, 3.4 million views in four days. Somebody done seen this shit. All right, well, let's see what's going on here. The beat nasty. The beat's nasty. Literally, I'm scared of this. I don't like the... I don't like the way they faces look. They look faces is scary. There it is. There it was. Don't interrupt. Just because it's no love. Shoulder shrug. I ain't bring nothing to the table when I'm the table. I'm a turn. No, I'm, no, I'm, no, no, this is scary. I'm gonna get that thug life tatted across the name. Guess I let my pride win. Mm -mm. Dre send me scriptures, help me see life better. Nigga, we having the best of 
He's holding his head. I watch four kids for like five hours a day. I wear these easy boots everywhere, even in the shower today. I got love for the nannies, but real family is better. The cameras watch the kids, I stop taking the credit. Not custodial dad, I bought the house next door. What you think the point of really being rich for? When you give them everything, they only want more. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Okay, and see, I don't. Mm -mm. I feel like I'm conjuring spirits, or like I'm letting some kind of evil entity into my home when, by watching this video. I'm, 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 I'm good on that. Thanks, though. Um, no, no, that scared me. Y'all ain't, ain't gonna um, conjure up no occult in here with that bullshit. He cut up. He cut up Pete Davis' head. He wrap it with it with that black. Where that weed go? Uh -uh, baby, baby. Crinkle, crinkle, crinkle. Oh, there you go. Why you get all the way over there? I'm just trying to calm, calm my nerve down after that shit. Kanye, that was scary. Anywho, what else is going on? The Batman earns 128 million in the US on first weekend, marking second biggest pandemic debut. I'm so happy for y'all. Yay, the Batman. I don't want nothing to do with that Batman. I don't I don't like D something about DC comic movies, they just don't curl all the way over, like, you know what I'm saying? The way Marvel do. Back in the day, like, the original Batman, Michael Keaton, now that was that nigga, like, uh, Michael Keaton, Michael, Michael Keaton, he was, he he is Batman, like, and everybody else just kind of, uh, pay, uh kind of, uh, What's the, what, what, how's the saying go? Pales in comparison? Pales in comparison to him? Like, cause, yo, um, Michael Keaton was the best Batman to ever do it. Neo White, um, uh, actual name, Neo, Neo spelled just like Neo, in, without the dash. <laughs> uh, Neo White, who went viral last month on TikTok after posting a video detailing his disastrous treatment at an Atlanta spa, says he intends to sue after the chemical pill he received left him with harrowing injuries. By looking at, I don't, I, I, I never knew what harrowing means, but um, looking at this poor man, I know it ain't nothing good. Um, God bless him, Jesus. Go, just give him a, a chemical pill. Why should y'all be doing all this cockamamie stuff to y'all face? That ain't natural. What's that? Is the y'all be put? I gotta, I gotta sit up for this. Y'all be putting chem, uh, chemicals, po acid, poison on your face. Y'all be putting lasers and y'all. Y'all put lasers on this side, lasers on this side, and y'all put acid on this side. Lacid. <laughs> no, but y'all been getting all this shit on y'all face. That ain't nothing that the Lord made. That man made stuff. Chemicals don't, only chemicals that's supposed to go on your face is the whatever chemicals they put in um, Dove or um, Cetaphil. I use Cetaphil. Cetaphil's good. I ain't putting none of them acid, acidic. I'm not putting no acidities. Is that a word? I'm not putting no acidic materials. Acidic. Substances. <laughs> I ain't put no acidic substances on my face. That's not in like you know like regular soap. I'm sure like regular soap probably got acid too, but like good acid. Like um, 
Um, it glycerin. Um, yeah, don't do, don't get chemical pills and don't get no lasers on your face. Whatever the fuck, yo, they be injecting blood in people's faces. They, I forgot what it's called, like the the blood of the, the blood of the lamb facial something. People, uh, they like remove, they, they like ex, um, extract, they extract your own blood or something like that. I don't know, uh, 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 but yeah, but be injecting blood in their face. Nicole Kidman, like she, Nicole Kidman. She done had so much of that bow top and all that shit. She, hold on, let me. She, she like, I'm so mad right now. I'm so mad right now. Oh my God, but I'm so happy. Thank you. Thank you for what you've done for me. She died. I'm sad. I'm so sad. Her face can't move. Like, <laughs> her face can't move. And that's acting. Huh, I'm acting. No, um, <laughs> but yeah, y'all leave y'all face alone. Just, just get old. Just get old. I mean, this this is what we do. We we you have to get old. And then when you do get old, and you don't have get, get, get all of y'all see Courtney Cox. Hey, when you start to get older, that stuff you got to keep getting stuff for the rest of your life. Joan Joan Rivers died on the table, trying to get some work done. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Y'all leave, leave. Let's leave it alone. It's, it's easy to say when you got the money. I bet if I got the money, I'd probably just knock my whole face off too. Nah, but um, anyway, I'm digressing. Um, and this is and this is according to complete.com. <laughs> Every time I say complete, I think it's so funny. <laughs> I think it's so funny when I say complex. <laughs> anyway, this is according to complex.com. <laughs> um, <clears throat> professional journalism. Neo claimed the face peel was performed on September. September. See, <laughs> it's because of that damn complex. <laughs> It's my compliment. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Professionalism. Journalism. Real journalism here at the Chuck Program. Neo claimed the face peel was performed on Feptem. Why am I? Why do I keep saying that? <laughs> um, Neo claimed the face peel was performed on Stop it, Denard. No, I stop. No, I. Neo claimed the face pill was performed on February 17th at Diamond Faces Skincare Bar. Okay, okay, I got this now. Neo claimed the face pill was performed on. <laughs> Neo claimed the face pill was performed on February 17th at Diamond Faces Skin Bar, an establishment where he previously received milder treatments. He has since posted videos and photos of his face, which is covered with dark blotches. My life is over, Neo wrote on social media. I don't know what else to do, but post it for the world. You could have kept it between you and your constituents and your family and your friends. Um, but you chose to let everybody know. So now we know. <laughs> so now we know. <laughs> White claimed he had never received a chemical pill prior to the February 17th appointment and exactly wasn't sure what to expect. I knew it was going to be bad, but I didn't... I don't know how the man talk. He might talk like... I knew it was going to be bad, but I didn't think it was going to be this bad. And like, I don't know how he talk. He could talk like this. Um, I knew it was going to be bad, but I did not think it would be. 
I don't know how that man talks. I can't assume nothing about nobody I don't know. So I'm just that's just a a a a, a, a hypoth um hypothesis. Yeah, I don't know how the man talk, but um he said that um line in a sense deleted Facebook video. The man said that during the process, he began feeling an intense burning sensation all over his face and immediately expressed his discomfort. White said that the esthetician reassured him that the feeling was normal. Baby, if, if something is burning me, I don't care if it's normal or not, get the shit off my face. Like, no. The esthetician was like, that's not burning. That's just a tinger. You don't, you don't know what you don't know what you're feeling. That's a tinger. That's supposed to do that. Calm down. It, I will wash it off after 15 minutes. Like everybody else. Hello. <laughs> he might just had a allergic reaction. Who knows? Um, I might name this episode Sour Neon Worms. That, Cause that's the um, yeah, Sour Neon Worms. That's the name of this episode. It's because when I tell you. These gummy worms is my new co-host. Like, <laughs> mm -mm. what is so good? Okay, stop eating. Stop. Okay. Shout out to the Dwayne Reed gummy worms, the Salvo ones. <laughs> Salvo. White said that once he returned home, he noticed that the spots had turned from white to gray, and kept getting darker and darker. According to White, the esthetician has refused to refund his money or take any responsibility for the incident, which is why he intends to file a lawsuit against the spa. He has also created a GoFundMe page to cover the cost of the medical fees, trips to the hospital, as well as legal bills. Jesus. Lord, Lord, Lord. Lord, help this man. I'm so, look, y'all look, no. Ooh, I would be so mad. I would be so mad. You know what? Y'all leave y'all faces alone. Jesus. Y'all poor face don't deserve that. Your face don't need, don't, mm -mm. What did your face do to you? Cutting it up, uh, laser it up, uh, blood it up, uh, uh, fill up, fill it up. <laughs> like, that, botox it up. Like, damn. Yup, y'all, y'all faces be going through it, boy. Just soap it up. Can we just do that? <laughs> Dub it up. <laughs> White said several attorneys have reached out to him, but he's taking his time before filing anything official. Yeah, weed him out. Yeah, yeah, because you, you, you got to your face. Is, uh, that picture's telling not a thousand. That picture's telling. 3,000 words like you 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 they did she uh, she did you dirty She did you dirty um esthetish Shamari Renee Cherry the founder of diamond faces Confirmed white had received a 20% TCA appeal, which is used to treat acne scars and Hyperpigmentation cherry told the outlet she had warned white about the healing process and they needed to give it some time to work its magic Baby by the magic being my face falling off because of your diamond faces, diamond feces. I would have peeled my ass up out that building when I, as soon as I felt something tingling. But that's the thing, he, he never had it before. I, I just, mm -mm. well, I, I sure as shit ain't getting one now. <laughs> I am burning people's faces off and shit. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this in the edit. I, I've, I've recorded for about an hour and 45 minutes. And let's see how long this shit gonna be by the time I'm done. About ten. But um, but yeah, but anyway, um, before I go, um, I always do this thing at the end of every show where um, I give you unsolicited advice, advice that I want to give you that you didn't ask for. Here, my unsolicited advice for the day: don't do sexual favors for free. Hello? Don't do sexual favors for free. And your payment ain't gotta be monetary. I'm just saying that, um, make sure you getting something out of whatever you do in life. Like, make sure you're getting, 
you're you're, you're you're wreaking some type of benefit that is beneficial to you because don't be out here uh, willy-nilly uh, 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 giving out fellatios and and, and, and and sucking dicks and 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 cunnilingi and all of that. You know what I'm talking about for free, uh, especially women. Like I never forget. I never forget. There was this young lady that I used to work with. She was like, um, "So did you hear about how Blazer's been going around sucking everybody's dicks around here?" I was like, I heard about that. Yo, that's crazy. She's like, for free? For free. <laughs> she said, I mean, if you're gonna go around sucking all these dicks, you might as well get paid for it. <laughs> advice for a generation. Yo, advice for like a lifetime of generations. Like, get something out of this. Like, you know, your your pay might be a different or other other person's pay. My pay is money. <laughs> no, but um yeah, like don't settle for less. You uh don't go for second best, baby. Put your love to the test. You know you know you got to feel Oh then you know you love is real respect yourself. You got to make it It's better than Hey, hey <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um Yo, so God bless y'all Um, uh, uh And, um And do me this one favor Just this one If any Do something nice for yourself Thanks and Au revoir <laughs> Bye the audio podcast version of the Chuck program is available on all major podcast platforms, including Apple, Google, Spotify, iHeartRadio, SoundCloud, and many more. And also the video version of the show is available at the Chuck program's YouTube channel. By the way, all content, be it audio or visual, will always be available at thechuckprogram.com. Wherever you catch the show, be sure to hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, and also tell a friend. Here's some great news. The Chuck program is all over social media, be it Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and Twitter, all under the name The Chuck Program. So follow for exclusives. And your voice matters as well. So contact me at thechuckprogram at gmail.com with any feedback. I appreciate you for listening. I appreciate you for watching. Do me a favor. Do something nice for yourself today. Bye.